I do know a couple of things. I do know that one imbecile in Cincinnati, Ohio, has given the the smokescreen defense of how dare you criticize the FBI a whole lot of ammunition. Here we go again. One guy shows up at the Cincinnati FBI office yesterday with a long gun, winds up getting killed in the process, and is posting stuff on on, on Truth Social about how he's going to go after the FBI. Great. Just great. That's exactly what the left was trying to say was happening by criticizing the FBI. That it would result in violence. Yesterday I thought, surely nobody's going to be stupid enough to take that bait. So you get one deranged madman who gives the mainstream media all the ammunition they need. I don't know if it sticks or not. It will with some. And to quote, to paraphrase Greg Gutfeld, you're going to sit around and say that we don't have a right as Americans to look at what very well may be a politically motivated witch hunt by the weaponized DOJ and FBI? Well, let's listen to Mr. Gutfeld directly from Fox News. When he describes the FBI as patriotic servants, I would agree. But who else are patriotic servants? The IRS agents. And we've been making fun of the IRS since 1862. (laughs) And the fact is, that is our right to criticize patriots and non-patriots alike. Uh, The things we say about lawyers, we've been saying for thousands of years. (laughs) We've been wishing harm on them. So this, this, this idea that... We cannot criticize or denigrate anyone for fear that someone else in this country will do something crazy. In two words, screw you, because that is a trick to shut you up. That's that's exactly what it is. It's a tactic. It's a trick. It's the same as saying you're not allowed to criticize a Democrat. You can't criticize Barack Obama because he's a black man. Then you're a racist if you criticize him. If you criticize the FBI, some yahoo is going to show up with a gun in Cincinnati, Ohio. It's a total trick to shut us up. And we're not going to put up with it. We're not going to be silenced. We don't have to be silenced. Nobody advocates violence. Nobody suggests violence that violence is plausible or, or, or able to be supported. We should condemn violence from any side, and we do. But trying to weaponize what this guy in Cincinnati did yesterday is the same as saying, all right, a Bernie Sanders Democrat tried to assassinate a bunch of Republican congressmen, so you Democrats are never allowed to criticize a Republican again. You can't say another thing about Republicans because you guys are capable of murdering Republican congressmen. We didn't do that. We wouldn't do that. That's because we're normal. That's because we've got some decency. And they don't. That's the difference between us and them. We didn't blame Bernie Sanders for the guy who wanted to assassinate every Republican congressman he could. But they're going to blame us for this imbecile in Cincinnati, Ohio. Well, it isn't going to work. It isn't going to work, and the American people are on to them. And I think we smell a setup. We smell traps. We 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 see the landmines that are all around. And we're going to step ginger, gingerly through the, the landmine field, and we're going to win big.